Hello, I'm Dragon Tamer Art, and welcome to today's speed paint. Today I'll be painting Petra from Fire Emblem Three Houses. A friend of mine suggested that, that I paint some portraits so I can put more detail into the characters. Fire Emblem characters work really well for this, because they tend to have a more complex design in the newer games. With that, let's start painting. Here's the model I'll be using. I normally use Petra as a Waverine Rider, so that's what I'll be trying to depict in this painting. Even though I'll only be using the upper half for reference, I still pose the lower half so I have an idea of how the body should look past the edges of the paper. This helps me with proportioning, if that makes any sense. Houses is one of my favorite Fire Emblem games in the series, and Petra is one of my favorite characters in Three Houses. Not only is she well written, but she's also one of the most powerful characters in the game, making her a must have for every playthrough. Now, in Three Houses, all Waven Riders wear the same armor rather than having the option to wear the unique character gear like other classes. But I find that armor a little bland, so I drew her in her unique gear. Here I added the Wavern's back and wing. It's really the only part of the Wavern that I could fit onto the painting. I normally don't do fine details like fingernails, but you'll never be able to improve if you don't try something new every now and again.
Here's a little behind the scenes stuff. This is actually my second attempt at making this painting. For some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to start making this at 1 in the morning. I finished the drawing part at about 2.30 and figured I'd finish the rest after some sleep. I started painting right after I woke up, and as I'm painting, I started to notice all the mistakes I made and realize how terrible it was. So I scrapped it and started from scratch, and I'm really glad I did that.
with that, we have Petra from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Thanks for watching the video. Leave your suggestions for improvements in future projects in the comments below. And remember, never stop improving.